Hey folks, here are OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of a Sengu Bamboo Wood Mouse. This one sells for about 25 bucks on Amazon, so it's not too expensive. And the specific model number is the MG95N. The packaging here is fairly generic looking. As you can see, all the parts of the mouse, including the scroll wheel, have this uh, wood texture to it. So it does match uh, a lot of accessories. If you already have a wood keyboard and you like this entire color tone and vibe, you can definitely get this as a set. And the company also sells, again, keyboards and other accessories also made out of wood. In fact, this one seems to be handmade and it you can see it's eco-friendly in the sense that, again, it's not made out of plastic, uh, so it's slightly more eco-conscious. The back features some basic info. It has a high gloss, solid construction, anti-static, uh, again, because it's made out of wood, has an innovative design, and then, again, this very nature-inspired uh, look going on. So here we have just the mouse itself. There is a quick start guide slash user manual. It tells you how to set things up for the first time. Simple mouse that will work with uh, any Windows or Mac computers. It's a plug-and-play really mouse, so not too much going on there. Um, otherwise, if we take a quick look at what else is included, it seems like it's just the mouse uh, itself. So this is a probably a wireless uh, mouse that uses an optical driver on the other side to work. It features a few rubber textures on these sides, uh, which allows it to more easily slide around on a specific a hard surface. Uh, like most optical mouses and laser mouses we've seen in the past, it's not going to be terrific if you have a glass table, uh, unless you have another uh, mouse pad on top of it because it might confuse the sensor. And so if you have a, again, a wood table, that's the best application. It's going to work quite nicely. Um, otherwise, you can see here I have the company logo below there. Uh, has, has some basic info about the mouse as well. There's also a simple connect key when you're tapping and connecting for the first time. So even the base of the mouse is completely made out of this wood texture. So quite a few attention to detail going on here, which we do like to see. Underneath here, we have access to the nano receiver, which is just a plug and play gold plated uh, USB 2.0 port that again, no drivers are needed. Plug it into the computer or a tablet and you're ready to go. There's a bit of a felt layer and you have a uh, two. Uh, it looks like AAA batteries which need to be inserted before you can use it and the batteries themselves are not included. So that's basically it. You can see the texture of the wood being used here is indeed quite fine and um, for a hand handmade uh, piece of kit it does have a pretty sturdy construction. This latch here is actually has a magnetic hinge, so that's why it stays put quite nicely. Uh, as far as uh, design perspective, a little bit smaller than your typical full-sized mouse, but not bad either. I would say it works well for both left-handed and right-handed use. It's a uh, really omnidirectional and seems to fit both. There aren't any additional cursor keys on each specific side, so it's not catered for gaming. It's really meant for general usage. Still portable enough to take with you if you are a road warrior or a traveler. Uh, there are two left and right keys, which seem pretty tactile and responsive. Uh, for selecting things in the menus, as well as a scroll wheel, which is indeed rubber, but has a wood-like uh, kind of texture and color to it. You can also tap on it to select on specific tasks. So pretty responsive and a pretty good weight distribution from a first impressions perspective. Next, we're going to plug this into a computer and show you guys quickly uh, how it functions and whether or not we Here we have the Sengu wood mouse connected to a Surface tablet. And you can see that the nano receiver, which is using 2.4G, is extremely small, just kind of sits on the right-hand spine there and it doesn't take up too much space at all which means that even for transportation you don't have to unplug it every single time. The process of pairing with the mouse happens automatically after connecting the nano receiver. It took me about 15 seconds for the computer to install that driver and automatically allow me to start using the mouse. So it is a fairly quick process and I experienced no issues for compatibility when trying it with an Android tablet, uh, with a Windows computer, as well as with a Mac computer. So it works pretty nicely. The size is still a little bit on the smaller side of the spectrum but it is pretty comfortable and there are rubber accents on the back which are very glossy and allows it to work very nicely on any opaque surface or material so it slides around nicely and has a very precise movement despite the small size so even if you have a, a screen that is isn't as large as a desktop monitor you can still access content and smaller icons um, and very precisely go through settings and the scroll wheel is, is fast and responsive as well um, perhaps even good for some light gaming otherwise you can see the back here features the optical uh, kind of sensor there for the mouse and there's also things on here including a physical reset key uh, if the first time pairing doesn't work and there's again that magnetic door for the batteries so you have to swap out the batteries after about a one year period of usage so the battery life is decent after a few seconds of inactivity it goes to sleep automatically just to save on battery which is also nice so as you can see here from a quick demo it definitely works and it does a good job so um, even if you're doing a bit of gaming a bit of web browsing file managing they all work flawlessly and uh, everything is pretty fast and responsive not really too much delay for a wireless mouse which is uh, nice to see
So at the end of the day, the Sengu Genuine Wood uh, kind of a mini mouse here, wireless mini mouse, is definitely something to consider if you're into this kind of organic wood uh, material and you have already a set that's maybe made out of wood, like a desk or some monitor and stands, and you want to add a touch uh, that completes the entire setup, this is a good option to consider. It works nicely, and despite the unique look, it also functions equally as well. So you can check out more details about this in our official written review, which includes a bit more details about the testing and performance, but this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.